Hello, thank you for returning. We hope you had a fantastic day. Before we begin, we'd like to congratulate you on exceeding your goals and making the decision to watch this video while everyone else is binge watching Netflix. Now, get ready for the video, which will be released today. When you give to someone out of the vortex, information from inside the vortex, it would be like someone chiming a high pitched ringing into your ears. In other words, if you're not in the vicinity of the vibration, you can't take the sound of it, but it is, it is what we were talking about earlier. If you're outside the vortex and efforting, your efforting backfires every, every time, the especially, message, especially the on something so big. You see, at that point you were still digging, you were still barbing. You were still, you were still trying to make your point. I love you. And while I've got your ear, you're bad. <laughs> when you're outside the vortex, there's still some of that vibration that's active. That's going to show up. Don't, don't you see it? Don't you read emails that say, I love you. And don't you feel the barb in them while you're reading them? Sometimes in other words, is it, can't you always feel where the person is when they wrote the message? Yes. And, and the worst thing that could ever happen is two people outside of the vortex exchanging emails. <laughs> No good will ever come from that. <laughs> and if one's out and one's in, it's not a whole lot better because the one who's out usually sucks the one who's in out. That's usually the way it goes because it gets really specific. So, so what she is innately and even unconsciously attempting to do is just feel better for a while, you see, and, and that's what you want to. So. If I focus, if you really trust the vortex, I do. If you really know what we just said to you, then you'll just chill and let the vortex work it out. If you don't trust, then you're going to keep sending stuff. Okay. You see, it, it, it really comes down to that. If you trust, if you trust that, that you've put it there and that your effort at aligning with the vortex is the best that you can do. It is our promise to you that you'll come into alignment and, and when you see, here, here's something that will really help you to understand through all of the time of that relationship, through all of the upheaval, through all of the time, there were good times and bad times, but even in the upheaval times, you were launching into your vortex, all kinds of wonderful things to be realized as soon as the two of you are in the vortex again. In other words, the, your, your relationship has been evolving way past your ability to, to live it because neither one of you have been in the vibrational vicinity of what you've been putting there. But nevertheless, a beautiful relationship between the two of you has been evolving into this vortex. So now, as you chill and allow yourself alignment with it, alignment with it, alignment with it, alignment with it, that do over that you are longing for, it can reach the place of crescendo where, where in a moment of less resistance, she'll come, she'll come round and she'll come in. In any case, whether she is the one that comes or whether it's another one who comes, the relationship that you have been creating is there and is sure for you. And the likelihood of it being the one the two of you built together is the strongest probability Thank you. by far and away, the strongest probability. So we can feel the power of your desire and we can feel the softness of your vibration. We can feel that the resistance that you were describing and that we were even speaking about, we, our words are far harsher than the actual remnants of that vibration. We can feel that you are in a place of, of giving up in the sense of giving up the resistance and allowing what you want to be. And it is our expectation that it will unfold. What looked like was supposed to happen that didn't happen wasn't the best thing to happen. And after a little while of just relaxing and taking it as it comes and trusting that the universe is always doing what's best for you and let that be your default decision about things that things are working out for me. No matter how it looks, things are always working out for me, no matter how it looks. And to the degree that I allow it here and now to the degree that I am willing to look for things that are satisfying here and now, then there's no end until 
you feel like you've been on a magic carpet ride like could this day have been any better could I have had better timing could I've had more pleasure could I've had more satisfaction could I have had better timing and the answer to that is yes probably but this was really 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 good in other words the more you acknowledge the good timing the better the timing continues to be Ah, oh, creation is so much fun when you realize that you are doing the creating and allowing is so much fun when you realize that you hold the keys to the allowing the deliberate creation of your life experience is what you came for you didn't come because stuff needs to get done you came because you like the experience of energy flowing through you you like the feeling of alignment you like the feeling of life flowing through you as soon as you get into the receiving mode you have the benefit of all that you know and when you're born you are in the receiving mode it takes a long time for other humans to talk you out of the receiving mode you see what we're getting at all the animals of your planet are in the receiving mode humans call them instinctive or instinctual because of the way they instinctively know what to do well you do too but humans get used to listening to other humans instead of listening to the guidance that comes forth from within so the separation or the discomfort that comes from in essence starting over has to do with how long it takes you to figure out that you care about feeling good and that gets easier and easier and easier as more on the planet know it and talk about it and teach it so that it's possible that you could come back in your next experience and meet up with somebody who has been to one of these seminars and they could remind you of it early on in your experience and you wouldn't have to go through 30 or 40 or 50 years of disconnection you see life has got a vortex full of things that could keep you busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes and then you tap into your resources where you're in the receiving mode where you get to witness those things coming about you're not going to find yourself wishing for more responsibility right <laughs> it's like reading a good book and you can't wait to get to the end but you don't want to get to the end it's just so beautiful to see that's one of the things that we like so much Esther wondered for quite a while Esther can feel the clarity of what we teach and she knows about tuning in and she would hear us talking about how the universe will continue to surprise and delight you and she thought well how can the universe surprise and delight me if I'm a deliberate creator if I'm asking for what I want if life is helping me know what I want then how could I be surprised and delighted and we say because of the unique way that things come about and because of the combination of beings and because of the way the path unfolds and because of the cleverness and expertise and brilliance of the source within you who in one moment in time can deliver 10 or 20 things that you care about simultaneously humans think so much more linearly and selectively where the source within you is a multi-dimensional being that is dealing with many things simultaneously and when you tap into that and you start following those impulses your ability to be surprised and delighted just gets greater and greater and each time you are then your expectation of it becomes keener still which makes you even more receptive to it and more receptive to it until people who are watching you just can hardly believe that these kind of things can happen to you then you find yourself instead of craving groups of people in order to stave off your loneliness you enjoy your independence where you are in the moment free to follow the impulse if you are free floating enough in terms of receiving and responding to what you're receiving then you'll always be at the right place at the right time about everything it might not be the place you planned but it will be as good or gooder than that was hello everyone Thank you so much for all of your love and support over the years. We appreciate all of the positivity and stories you shared. Please share this video if you like it, and let us know what you think.